Hello and welcome to Actionable User. This is the place whereby you can learn about Upwork. Now, on this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily find the best jobs to apply to on Upwork. Finding the right job to apply to can be very, very important in your Upwork career. By the end of this video, you'll have learned how to discover the right jobs or shortlist those jobs so that you may later on decide which job you want to apply to first or actually which job you want to give your priority. Then, later on, I shall show you where you can actually attach your cover letter or your proposal and also your samples. Without wasting more time, let's go straight to Upwork and you'll see what I mean. I'm on Upwork and I actually want to find work so as to send in my proposal. So I can find work by going here to find work and going down you can see there are various options so I'll click on the first one which is find work. Yeah I'm on Upwork and I actually want to find work so as to send in my proposal. So I can find work by going here to find work and going down you can see there are various options so I'll click on the first one which is find work article writing then I'll hit on the search then actually on searching article writing I have 7,354 jobs so I can apply among any one of these so I can go down and start reading the requirements and all the details of this job written here yeah hi I'm a professional blog writer you can read all this and you can press here to see more yeah these results can be very very overwhelming so you need to filter them out filter them here you can go to this left part and actually filter them out by specifying what you're looking for so one of the ways you can do that is by clicking the level you are in let's say if you are an expert you can click on expert and you can see there are 283 jobs on people who are searching for expert writers so actually i'm going to let's say for today let's try entry level because that's the fewer ones 940 then on after doing that you see that the number of results has actually dropped the number of jobs found has actually dropped and we want to reduce the number so that you can remain with the most relevant jobs here if you want you can clear filters over here and you can go back to the 194,000 jobs so let's actually specify entry level and here they are sorted from newest you can click here and actually customize how you want them to be sorted then after doing that you may even select two dockets f for more results but for today I'll check only on the entry level then I'll go down because I want fewer results uh, you can specify this criteria or you can continue downwards and the number of proposals now if you don't want uh, a lot of competition probably want to be strategic and you want your application to come up on top you may choose let's say this option yeah you want the applications which have five applicants or fewer because probably you don't want to compete or you can actually choose two or three of them but for today let's pick the first one yeah as you can see up here our filters are being added as we go you can clear them here yeah then you can specify on the client information whereby you can choose your previous clients or payment verified so it is advisable to have clients who have their payments verified because you are somehow guaranteed that their payment has already been deposited to their to Upwork when they are issuing this job yeah you can see the payment verification down here and you can see the amount of money they have spent yeah and also you can see their location here and 
other things that we shall get into. So I'll specify on payment verified. And remember that our search results are being filtered. Now they are becoming fewer and fewer and more targeted. So we may find the right jobs. It will be easier for us to find the right jobs and actually not get bombarded with a lot of information. So I'll go ahead and continue downwards. So you, here you can select the number of hires or the client's history. You can check here if you want a new client. Yeah, and you can specify the other ones as you want. But let's leave this one and you can specify the client location. For example, if you have trust issues with clients from a particular part of the world, you can specify here which clients you want. Let's say if you have the perception that clients from a particular place pay more, you can specify there. Then you can specify on the client's time zone. Yeah, you can specify here. And also you can specify on the project duration the project length. How long would you like to work on this project? So if it's less, less than one month, up to six months, and or even longer term projects you can specify, then hours per week. If you want to be paid per hour, you can specify over here. And now here, you can specify on the number of connects that you need to apply for this job. Now, one thing about Upwork is that it has its own currency, as you can see here, this currency is known as connects. So when you are applying for a job, it costs you some connects. Like this job here asks for two connects. This one requires six connects. So you can specify the number of connects. So this connect gives you a given number of connects, about 140 connects. So you use them and if they end, they may or they may not add, add you extra connects or they may require you to actually buy more connects if you want but there's some there's an actual number of connects that will be allocated to you let's go back on top and start searching and sifting through all these jobs yeah now as you can see here a youtube on camera face needed someone is looking for a presenter for their youtube channel so they're specifying that this task is unpaid and once the channel grows so this person basically wants a volunteer that's why you can see that there are less than five applicants because people are here to make money so if you're here to make money and you do not like some of these terms like working for free you can go here and there are two icons so the dumps down icon here let's click on it there are a couple of options here so you can say just not interested, vague description based on what you have understood from this. You can actually downvote this job description and it will not appear in your search results. I can say just unrealistic expectations because this people need to make money. So today let's hit on unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. And actually it has been minimized but if you want to see it further you can hit on the expand. Then you can collapse. Let's continue. Yeah, there's another another one here asking for a data entry expert. So you can go ahead and read all these requirements and if you actually like this all these requirements and you feel that you can do this task, you can actually save it and it will be added to your saved jobs over here. There are other jobs, so you can continue doing that administrative at assistant for salon owner you can continue and read more more while you're saving them here we yeah, are build an email newsletter at the end you can come here to your saved jobs these are all the jobs that we've gone through and we have seen that uh, we stand a chance of being hired and we actually match the skills that are needed so you can just continue browsing through them and if you see one particular one that you need to apply you can apply if you change your mind about liking this you can just unlike here and it will be removed from your saved jobs over here 
so here we have a job description that we liked earlier which was posted like three days ago but we actually want to apply the person who posted this is for from Cameroon and their payment has been verified so let's click on this to see more information about this job so when you click on a job to see more information you're taken to this page whereby you can see more information or if you want you can unsave over here or you can apply now so I'll apply now so after clicking on apply now I'm being told that I can submit my proposal and that this proposal will require two connects in order to apply and after sending this proposal I'll have 93 connects so two connects have been subtracted from my earlier 95 connects so we are being told that this person requires an expert and that the duration is for more than six months and the payment is on a fixed price so you can click on more and read some of these requirements to see that you actually meet them and also guys remember that if you do not know how to write a cover letter for this application I've actually created a cover letter which you can emulate and learn from so this is where you'll put your cover letter yeah so make sure that you've read all these requirements all these requirements and make sure that you match all these or at least match 70% of these requirements for you to stand a fighting chance against the other numerous applicants who also want this job so we can see the the skills and expertise required here they are the, the client's budget is ten dollars can choose whether you want to be paid according to milestones or by project for today let me select on project then here you can specify the amount of money you want you can change this but it has already filled in the amount that the client had earlier specified so for today let me just leave it at there but actually you can change this and put twenty dollars if you want yeah just like that and you'll see that Apoc has already calculated their share and this is what you will receive specify the duration you want it's good that if you specify the duration you can just emulate or just look at what the client has specified here but you can specify your own terms but today I'll just fill in what the client has filled in then I'll continue here I need to put in my cover letter so ahead of time I wrote a cover letter and actually guys remember that I have created a video on how to write the perfect cover letter that will get you hired yeah and I have the perfect example for you that you can emulate and let me copy and paste my cover letter over here and guys I've added a Grammarly extension to my browser so I'll actually get alerts on whether there is some grammatical errors of which actually you don't want to send in an application or a cover letter with grammatical errors so I've also created a video for you on how to add the Grammarly extension to your browser so you can check that out I've linked it in the description we can now continue and attach the required documents yeah the client had earlier asked for samples and we can press on this button to upload and we are being told that our samples should be of the size 25 MB and below so let me upload so if I want to remove this file you can hit on delete and if you want to upload an additional one you can click on upload moving down you can see the other applicants and currently there are no other applicants because uh, if there were some other applicants I will be asked to pay more connects for my application to actually be placed on top or on second place or on third place now I can send my application or my proposal for two connects let me just yeah so on pressing on send my application 
I'm being told that here there is some form of contract that I need to read and understand before sending and actually I've read this contract when sending other proposals but make sure you read it first and press on yes I understand then continue to submit yeah and we are being told that our proposal was submitted successfully after receiving this message you can go down and you can see the cover letter you just sent yeah here is the cover letter so actually if you change your mind about this proposal you can change your terms here or you can withdraw your proposal the person who is looking to hire you will not receive your application and also remember that if you have other applications you can track the progress of your applications by just going here to find work and here at proposals whereby you can see your other proposals and the stage that they are you can see that the active proposals there they are yeah and other applications that you have submitted before the client will message you and you'll see the messages right here. So guys, you've seen it. That is how you can easily find the right jobs on Upwork so that you may send in your proposal. Now, I've made another video on how you can craft the best proposal that will get potential hirers remembering about you and actually giving you priority over the other applicants. And I've linked that video in the description box below Check that immediately after this video so that you may learn how to write the best proposal that will get you on top. Remember to like this video. Remember to leave me a comment telling me which video you'd like to see me do next. And also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends who may be needing to know more about Upwork just like you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.